Hey, all you sinners and saints, it's TJ, the Motor Sage here. It's a really wet and rainy and icy Sunday morning. I uh, wasn't able to make it down to the church that uh, I was supposed to preside at. And uh, we got a brief respite here between uh, ice falling on us and uh, the snow that's coming. So uh, I brought my wife out to the uh, grocery store to get some fixings. And uh, thought I'd uh, drop in and uh, just let you know how things are going. So uh, we, uh, we're we preparing to hear some uh, message next week about uh, John the Baptist and uh, his message to the people about making things uh, go a little bit more easy for the Holy Spirit to get into our lives. So uh, listen up. Think about John the Baptist saying, make the paths straight. Mm. Why is that for next week? That's for next week. Mm. Remember he was talking to the people of Israel about Jesus. I think it's part of the uh, to make your to prepare yourself okay, for the uh, coming of the Spirit. Well, I think it's up. more. I think it's more about confession. Making the path straight is more Repent. about confession. 
maybe and repentance. repentance. Yeah. yeah. The church doesn't talk about repentance enough. Well, there you go. I ate meat when I promised I, I would make that sacrifice every week. Mm -hmm. It was only a little piece of meat. It probably wasn't worth it, but I was not thinking because I was hungry. You sound like Martin Luther used to confess every little infraction well, he ever made trying to be perfect. Mm, That's when he realized he couldn't be. Yeah. Well, I've gone to something new. I say that uh, the contrition from the Luther LBW. I, part of my part of my uh, bedtime prayers now. Mm -hmm. Most of it's about when I'm mad at you. <laughs> to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our crucified and risen Lord, and I bring you his love. Amen. Today I'm feeling a bit like uh, I'm somehow a descendant of John the Baptist because uh, of several items. Uh, first of all, I uh, live up in what they call the Pennsylvania wilds, and uh, John came out of the wilderness proclaiming uh, that uh, people had to get ready for the coming of the kingdom, and uh, my task is the same. Second of all, the, I have a little bit of a taste for uh, some similarities in diet. Uh, this morning I had my uh, wonderful uh, breakfast of uh, peanut butter toast and uh, some honey on top, so uh, uh, I share uh, some of the uh, character traits, I believe, of uh, good old John the Baptist. And lastly, uh, it's John's task, as it is my own here in this season before Christmas. It was his task to uh, call people to repentance. Now, repentance is a uh, word that a lot of people don't uh, realize or has a given and particular uh, meaning. It simply means turn around and face God, you know, and realize your uh, shortcomings, your sinfulness before God. And uh, once you confess those sins, uh, you can be forgiven. This is what uh, John was telling uh, the people around him so long ago. But uh, John was calling people towards, do, working towards uh a purification, getting their lives squared away and straightened out. Well, Jesus came along, and uh, he is the uh, Son of Man and the Son of God, and he came along, was baptized by John, and so that all righteousness would be fulfilled, and uh, he would uh, be an acceptable sacrifice for uh, our sinfulness. He would... Uh, be raised up by uh, his parents, and he would teach us, he would uh, heal us, and he would go to the cross to save us and take our place there. That's a message I believe that we need to uh, spring forth uh, from the wilderness of this world, uh, just like uh, John be led to the straight and narrow, uh, make straight the way of the Lord, is what John proclaimed. Thanks be to God.